All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Monday, January 15th. I took a look at some of the clues. I think there's a couple at least I have a good idea about. Let's see if that's enough to uh, get started. This one, uh, we're told, indicates a homophone, how to use the internet in excess. Well, immediately thought of surfing the internet and excess surf it. Although I have to say that's one of those words I read, not exactly sure on the pronunciation, surf it, I suppose. Um, anyway, so that's a start. The other one I got, uh, well, of course, referring to Ireland, I would have to. A new romance sprouts in rural Ireland. Well, um, first thought of one of the provinces, uh, Connacht, but then I saw we can make out of, um, <coughs> excuse me, romance and A-N. That's going to be nine letters. We can get Connemara in the west of Ireland. Um, all right, so that's it. The other one I think I know, but I do question the definition. Um, make mad by exploding grenade. Well, I can see you can anagram grenade to make enraged. And wouldn't that be made mad? Well, I suppose make might really be just a sort of placeholder word saying you can make a synonym for mad by exploding grenade. Yeah, I suppose that's the way it works. But um, I don't know. I think made mad would... Uh, maybe that would make it too easy. I don't know. What do I know? All right, this looks interesting. Wow, the famous Sir Walter. Well, it could be Walter Scott, um, oh, which could fit in the second. Um, well, um, now I'm wondering if this is great, Scott, and maybe enraged is wrong. The anagram works. But, uh, oh, in fact, yeah, so it's it's another anagram. Ah, and in fact, now it does make sense, so I take back everything I said. Uh, derange to make mad. Yeah, so it is present tense. Um, because I was looking at this and I was thinking, great, Scott. Uh, of course, back to the future, we think of um, old what's-his-name saying great, Scott. And so that's a synonym for wow, and famous is great, and Sir Walter Scott. All right, uh, let's take a look at this one. I did look at it before I began recording, but uh, nothing came to me. Poor birds' innards, bad at intervals. Well, inter at intervals suggests maybe we take the even letters of something or the odd letters. I'm wondering if it, the definition might simply be poor. Uh, although actually at intervals could be a phrase like from time to time, now and then, yeah, two, two, five, yeah, I wonder if it is something and, hmm, poor birds, what's another name for innards? Oh, of course, could be the inner letter of birds, or just bird I-R. Oh, no, nothing is coming to me. Um, stay here, perhaps, during November. I'm, can you abbreviate November simply as N? I'm wondering if you can stay at an N. During is I-N, and then the N for November. 
That seems plausible. How about one down? Popular vocalist captivates with moving delivery. Ah, I think this is a cricket term, which is going to annoy um, American solvers of the uh, crossword. Popular, I thought of in, and a vocalist would be a singer, and it captivates or captures with, which is W. And so an in swinger, I think, is a uh, a bowl, a ball that's thrown in a cricket that swings in at the batsman. Um, anyway, run away in defeat. Well, run can be R. Oh, yeah, and away can be out. I'm away from home. I'm out. And a route is a thorough defeat. So now 19. To give extra training increases what sportsman bags. To give extra training. I'm wondering if something like... Um, Upskill. Oh, yeah, and so increases is ups, and what a sportsman bags is their kill. Not sure where the sport is in it, but there you go. Um, had a tantrum as criminal stole sarong. Um, Criminal, I think, can be an anagram indicator. So we're looking for 11 letters. So stole sarong is a very um, strange phrase. So I do wonder if it's an anagram of stole sarong. And it means had a tantrum. Lost lost one's rag i think great english phrase um so that gives us a couple of starters extra doctor that's a relief well i know extra is a term in cricket um but I don't know any abbreviation for it. Oh, there, of course, there is the locum who fills in for a doctor. Could it be locum? As I think a locum can also be an anesthetic. Is this, am I misremembering that? I would put a C here. A clock that sounds the hour. A wild idea. I'm thinking of a chimera. I guess one of these words. I'm not sure how to pronounce, but I'm thinking. The clock that sounds the hour is a chimer, and then followed by an A, a chimera. I think that's it, something you chase after, but may not actually exist. That's, I'm not exactly sure of the definition. So let's put in locum. Now this should st start with my, maybe me. I'll be silent stuck for an answer oh my lips are sealed yes so um i think the sealed is the uh, stuck not sure i completely um understand this i think maybe it's an 
and lit are just simply a punning definition. My lips are sealed. I suppose lip can be a, a smart answer back, but I'm not exactly sure there. Now, 22 down looks like something up. One ahead, on course to remain secluded. Um, one ahead. No, nothing coming to me on that. Scout out in playground by church. Well, by church sounds like it might end in CE. What's a playground? And scout out. Oh, recce. Yes, to do a reconnoiter would be to scout out something and a recreation area would be a playground. Extended farewell for band on radio. Well, uh, I grew up with an old wireless radio that we had. Um, well, it was part of a hi-fi system I suppose and of course we had long wave on it does the BBC still broadcast on long wave anyway oh so did I get all of the so extended long a farewell a wave goodbye I suppose and it is a band on an old radio in France cat well that would be chat has water wine for us here. Uh, could it be Chateau? So cat and then O for water and you get wine from a chateau. Well, the chateau is just a castle, right, in general. I know a lot of um, wines have chateau in them. And is there some little element I'm missing that brings us to wine? Huh. Well, I'll leave it in for now and we'll see that you see if we can confirm that. Speculative investment for homeowner seeking privacy. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so some kind of fund. Uh, oh, that's one that's just right on the tip of my tongue. Uh, no, not... Um, coming to mind, but I think it is some, oh, a hedge fund, of course. I kept thinking shrub fund, hedge fund. There we go. Um, all right. Girl lisped, which is very hard to say, a story. Well, I think that's myth. So if you say miss with a lisp, you get myth. Ooh, that gives us a nice uh, Y at the end of seven down. Competence that's unchanged with cap on. Competence. Um, I think it might be ability. And it means unchanged with something else well um that's unchanged with cap on well cape ah uh, yes yeah, so it's still like competence when you say capability okay yeah i was trying to make stability work 
is the other word it's referring to, but of course it's simply capability. All right, um, making very good progress. Um, I've done a few crosswords since my last video, but very um, just, yeah, because I went through a little bit of illness, not concentrating too much on it. So I think I'm having a little bit of, uh, not beginner's luck, but whatever the luck is when somebody returns to something. All right, having military dress on, name to be sewn in, in the dark. Well, that's a, an easy one if you think about having military dress is being in uniform. But then we add an extra N for name, it has to be sewn into it. And we get uninformed. All right, so 21 down, card plunder from Kentish Beauty Queen, we gather. There's a lot going on there. I think it there must be a bit of a homophone. Um, I'm not sure what a Kentish Beauty Queen is referring to. Could it be some kind of May? May Queen or a bell of some kind. But then what's a card blunder? Is it something in a game of cards or poker or bridge? Ooh, a miss deal. Ah, yes. Okay, so I presume deal. I have heard of it as a town. I presume that is in Kent. And so Miss Deal would be a Kentish beauty queen. All right. And then that woman, which could be she, dropped last letter off. Um, of course, it could also be Sue. But I'm thinking that woman is she, but then I don't get the dropped last letter off. No, I'm going to have to um, check that one. Um, by the way, thanks to the commenters who have helped explain some of the clues I didn't fully understand in the past. I do appreciate that. Um... All right, uh, let's take a look at 22, one ahead, on course, no, no, it's still not getting that, uh, sameness of personality, so I presume that's a double definition to do with character or um, a word for personality that also means sameness, grayness. Um, no, not getting that. Um, at weekend, wearing shiny fabric. Um, ooh, well, just from a shiny fabric, five letters with T is the third, think thought of satin. And so sat is one of the Saturday, one of the weekend days. And then if you're wearing something, you're in it. So I'm happy with that. Politicians, powerful address. Well, number 10, Downing Street, of course, is a uh, the address of a powerful politician. Is that what it is? I mean, the N would go with and being that um, third word in one across. 
But, um, yeah, is it just simply as for punning definition of number 10? Because we're meant to think it's some kind of speech, a powerful address. Hmm. Let's say drink in can to be consumed by the start of spring. Um, just thinking of a drink and looking at the letters, I thought of martini. Where, um, uh, yeah, I think maybe. Let me just put it in and we'll take a look. I can see that, um, can could be tin, and that is consumed by Mar 1, March 1st. Does that consider the start of spring? Um, not sure I agree with March 1st as start of spring, but anyway, I think maybe that is right. Traveling inward, making port... So could it be the name of a port city? Or could it be port as in left? Traveling. Yeah, I'm not getting that. Hang this band music. Hang this band music. Yeah, I'm not uh, getting that one either. All right. Um, how about working on meat and various ingredients? Eleven letters. Could it be an anagram of ingredients? Which is eleven letters. And it could end in um, ing. Ah, yes, so I think then eight down would be swing. So you hang a swing, and uh, big band music is swing. Um, let's try the anagram helper for the first time this year. Working on meat. Tenderizing, yes. That would be it. All right, so now sameness of personality ends, well, T-A-T-E. -E. Oh, how about identity? Your, your personality is your identity. Now, where's the sameness? I suppose, oh, in mathematics, isn't there an identity when things have the same value? Maybe I'm making that up. All right, one across, surely. Ooh, yes, in dribs and drabs. Yeah, so I think it's an anagram of birds, innards, bad uh, in dribs and drabs okay that just leaves two uh, six down traveling inward making port uh, 
Darwin. Oh, yes, so Darwin Port in Australia. I've actually been there. And it's an anagram of inward. All right. That just leaves, excuse me, one ahead on course. I'm going to pause, run through the alphabet to see what the starting letter might be, and uh, then I'll come back and probably end up giving up on this one. Ah, yeah, so I got as far as H and uh, realized, of course, when it says on course, uh, playfully, it's meaning on a golf course, if you're one ahead, you could be a hole up. And then, of course, to hole up means to uh, go into seclusion. All right, let's check all of them. Uh, looks like everything stayed in place. That is amazing. Nobody is more surprised than I am. Anyway, uh, there were a few I wasn't 100% sure on, so if you have anything to add on that, I would appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.